Dear Father, we, we truly thank you for your blessings of this day. We thank you, Father, for the gift of love, for it is one of the gifts that you have mercifully created and blessed our lives with. I gotta be honest, I'm feeling tired tonight. But the look in your eyes got me feeling alive inside. Father, we thank you for this wedding today, the union between Spencer and Marissa. We thank you, Father, that the family and the friends that have gathered here to support them. And Father, we just pray right now, dear God, that you would bless this union. For marriage is a contract, and marriage is a cut. And Father, we know that marriage and family is one of your most uh, gracious blessings. And we truly thank you for this. Father, we just ask that you'd have your way here today. And that's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> this day is so important to me because as your big sister and your forever best friend, all I've ever wanted in this life is to see you happy. And I know Spencer is your person and I couldn't be more thankful that you found him. I remember when Spencer and Marissa first started dating. And two weeks into their relationship, he was telling me she was the love of his life. I thought he was crazy. <laughs> But after I got to know Marissa a little bit and seeing what a great person she really is, seeing them together and seeing how much they really cared about each other made me realize I was the crazy one. It's evident in the way they treat each other, laugh together, and love each other. They were meant to be together. Time goes by. Spencer was born on a snowy January night. The gift God gave his, his dad and I was truly an amazing feeling of love filled with light. A son in his life had only just begun. <sighs> when he was two, he took a nap with me so innocent and sweet with his binky and blue blankie. It wasn't long until he grew. Our little guy went off to school and then I knew. It was his time to fly, but I, I never let go. I was the helicopter right by his side, ready to rescue in any way at any time. Time rolled on and a teenager appeared, yet he never disrespected his dad and me throughout those years. Good job, bud. <laughs> then came the day the teenager grew into a young man, and then I absolutely knew. He had his own wings and would charter his own flight. We wanted to raise a man that would treat a woman right, and soon would come a beautiful sight. Turn around, Daddy. Yeah, I see Daddy. Is this not too much cleavage, honey? No, I don't even want to look at it. Oh, God. God. You're so sweet. Oh, look at him. You see Brad and Lauren? Yeah. Oh, and you even got Lauren. That's so sweet. Oh. That dress does show a lot of clean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and I'm going to pull it off. My first thought every day is to thank God to get to call you mine. You are without a doubt the most beautiful person in the world inside and out. You are loving, you are kind, and you are kind of fun. You, you, you brighten any room you walk into. You make any person you meet happier than can be any more than you walk in your life. I've always dreamt about this day. 
about my dress, about my girls, about my dad walking me down the aisle. But most of all, I dreamt of you, wondering who would be choosing to be by my side, wanting to spend the rest of their life with me. In all of my wildest dreams, I never imagined I would be stood here today with someone so special. Every prayer I have prayed, every list I have made, every single detail, it was you. Spencer, I admire you and love you unconditionally. People say love is hard, yet our love is the easiest, most special thing I've ever experienced. After I fell in love with you, I knew my heart would never be the same. I have a gift from God by my side for the rest of my life. Let's just laugh. Let's just laugh, yeah. <laughs> One day I prayed, literally put the prayer in my prayer box, for an angel to come for Spencer, a woman who would love and adore him. And God answered that prayer when Marissa appeared. Her spirit, her laugh, her love for all is clear, and we are so happy she is now part of our family. Tonight, looking at him and Mar Marissa, I do believe God got it right. We said I love you two weeks into our relationship, and that describes us perfectly. There couldn't be anything in this world that fits better than you and I. It is my job in this world to protect you and everything that makes you who you are. So these are the promises I make to you. I promise to give you all of my love every day for eternity. I promise to be faithful, loyal, respectful, honest, and kind. I promise to always be there for you to listen, to laugh with, to cry to, to comfort, to pick you up, to depend on, to trust, and to always be your hype man. I promise to never let anything come in between us and to always put you in our marriage first. I promise to always be the man that only you get to see me do my little dances and, and pout when you make me go wash my hands. <laughs> to always make you smile and laugh, even when I have to pause our show every time you pick up the phone. <laughs> Those close to me know that the thought of growing old has always been something I have feared. I would always avoid the thought before I sent myself into a spiral. <laughs> Ever since I met you, Spencer, growing old is no longer a fear. It's truly a blessing. You don't even know it, but you have changed my perspective, and instead of fearing it, I now pray for it. Because that means another day with you and another day of loving you. <laughs> there is no one else on earth I would rather grow old with. The love I found in you has confirmed the love God has for us all. Today I am confident I am marrying the one God chose for me. I promise to share your passion and make your dreams our dreams. I vow to believe our love will never fail. I vow to continuously work on myself to be the wife you deserve. From the day we met until the day I die, I am yours. Today is the beginning of the rest of our lives, and I choose to spend today and all of my tomorrows by your side. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little early. <laughs> We've done the cheat. <laughs> we ain't done yet, brother. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. You may pray, Spirit. Marissa, would you peek after me, please? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. The symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Hey, Spencer. Spencer, you may kiss your bride. No matter if the lights go out or the stars come down, I will always be right here. I don't care. No Ladies, yeah. I give you, you Mr. I'm and Mrs. Right Fisher. Right okay, the first time I met Spencer, I was presently surprised because he was actually cute. 
I only say that because, like I was saying, Marissa's hot, and she's always been hot, but she dated very questionable-looking men. But but that's the shit, I mean, she's all about the heart, so that's besides the point. But I knew Spencer was the one when Marissa called me and asked, do you think you or Spencer loves me more? And naturally, I was stunned because I couldn't believe she was asking such a stupid question. Like, obviously, Spencer loves her more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I believe I can speak for everyone in the room that we wish both of you all the happiness you deserve. And we are so glad that you found one another. <laughs> Remember all the love and happiness you feel today for the rest of the days of your life. I love you both and wish you many years of happy marriage. I can't wait to see what the world has in store for you both. Best is yet to come. Congrats, you guys. If everyone can please raise I would like to propose a toast to the newlyweds and end the speech with the famous Marissa and Spencer goodbye. <laughs> love you, bye! <laughs> Okay, here we go. You wanted it. Okay. Okay, five minutes. The bond between Marissa and I, I don't know what it is, but I got a good idea. As I said, my grandmother passed away, and she was a year old. And she was four, three years of difference between them. And my grandmother was holding her when she passed away. And I was up north working. I didn't come down for the weekend. The only thing got me through that whole ordeal was holding her as a baby. <laughs> because she, being the first one, was four, so she needed a lot of attention, so Draymond was with her. And then this one here, her and I, again, she was my comfort. And it's almost like I said she was a girl when Dream was wanting a boy or second kid. It's like God knew what he had planned and he knew I was going to need something to get through that, so he gave me her. <laughs> but little did we know, she was going to be a pistol. And when I say pistol, I mean a, a capital, every letter, pistol. Tonight, looking at him and Mar Marissa, I do believe God got it right. Their souls carry love from generations past, and I'm sure that love will last forevermore. The branches of her family tree have grown taller tonight. We lost my dad this year. And there's a memorial up there. souls carry love from generations past. Spencer's and I'm kindness sure that love will last. so much came from his papa. And I just feel him. I feel I feel his love. It's as if he's right here with us. And I'm just so glad. Um, they love God so much. And I'm happy that they are surrounded by his love and light. We can't wait to see the beauty the future holds for you two. And God has made his plan clear in his word in Jeremiah 29 11. He says that I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So let's raise a glass and wish Spencer and Marissa a life full of love and blessings. This definition of marriage is this. Marriage is when two people become one forever. A marriage is an opportunity to glorify and welcome God into the union, as he will always remain in the center. Marriage is a lifelong commitment of love, respect, time, and understanding. Marriage is a blessing never to be taken for granted. It is a commitment to always love and cherish each other, with Christ at the center of our relationship, guiding us through any obstacle to always have each other's backs. 
Marriage is the beginning of building a strong foundation for the journey that lies ahead as we build our faith and our family. Amen.